So I've been looking everywhere. I've looked everywhere on a bunch of different articles. I've checked the end night, Twitter, Facebook, their website, everything. They are not talking about this game. We don't know anything really besides the trailer. There's some articles that kind of try to guess at what's going to happen. The consensus here is that this is going to be a sequel. I was really hoping for a prequel where we could see a lot of like what happened with the Bible camps and what happened with uh, all the different stories that are going on there, all the different campers and kind of how their story happened, the yacht, etc. But it seems like we're going to be getting a sequel. I'm assuming this sequel is obviously going to take place uh, in one of the two endings. One of the endings is that you stayed on the island and you obviously let the plane fly over and you survived there forever. And the second ending was that you would go back, you're on a talk show, you wrote your book and Timmy has like a, like a, like a convulsion on stage and turns into a demon or whatever happens. And uh, we're going to start from there. I'm assuming, given the context of the trailer that you guys just watched, it's probably going to be one where we escaped and Timmy starts to freak out and convulse and whatnot. And after that happens, I'm assuming a private company or the government or somebody like that now decides like, hey, we should probably go check out this creepy island that this dude talks about in his book to see if he's actually correct on his judgments. And this is where they send in this helicopter, this team, this SWAT team to either... I mean, I assume their idea is to kill all the demons because this dude has killed demons tattooed on his wrist. He's very serious about this. Um, one thing that you notice is we're going to have modern weapons in this one. Uh, the only like gun we had in the last game was like a flintlock pistol that you had to go and dig up and do some weird puzzle to get that going. But now we're going to have like just a big boy shotgun, limited ammo um, to shoot demons. They're not called mutants, they're called demons. Um, and looks like a group of three. I'm assuming you're going to be able to squad up with a group of four. Uh, there's a meal ready to eat on the ground. And this is what's kind of crazy is that he has fight demons tattooed on him. Like, what is the backstory behind fight demons literally tattooed on you? Is this a team that specifically is usually sent out to fight demons? Like, that are known to be about on different islands or on wherever... Like, obviously, this dude was trained to fight demons. Or they just went and tattooed this dude and be like, this is your one job, and we need to remind you of it by tattooing this on your arm. I don't know. Is this the father heading back to the island? I doubt it, but maybe. Um, it seems like it's just some type of SWAT team of some sort. And here you actually see something kind of weird. What you think is, like, a rocket or something hitting the helicopter, it's actually a body thrown at the helicopter. Um, so they're hinting at definitely uh, either a new boss or a new demon that literally is is massive. This thing is just a, a behemoth, a beast, a monster. Like, this thing is huge. And you're going to see that a little bit more down the line here as well. Um, here's the modern axe just off the ground. And if you watch this hand come out, perceptually speaking, that hand is fucking massive. That is a huge hand. Like, compared to his body, I understand it's a little bit in the foreground, but that hand is huge. Like, massive. Like, look at how big it is. He's able to wrap it around this, you know, I would assume a pretty muscular dude's calf. Like, he's a SWAT team member. He probably lifts pro, you know? And he can wrap his hand probably around his leg a couple times and looks like he can smush it. And then he goes ahead and he does smush it in the bush, as you can tell. Um, and you can kind of, if you watch it real carefully, you can kind of see him flailing. You can kind of see the demon, and then it's like a mild, like, gurgle or a growl, and he explodes into a million mushy little pieces. So there's going to be some type of demon that really is huge, either the boss or this is going to be a different demon uh, hiding around. We don't see any building, any crafting, or anything crazy like that. Um, in this trailer, I'm assuming they're just going to keep what they already had and expand on it. We'll see. Um, the game looks beautiful. This is uh, what I thought at first was going to be some type of boss or some type of thing like that. This is actually probably just going to be a, a different type of demon. Just another one that you're going to end up finding in the caves. And I'll show you later why I think that. On top of this, you see the shotgun again right here. There's the tip down at the bottom. And obviously that's going to be probably one of your starting main weapons, which is nice to start you out with the shotgun, because before they really just threw you in deep with the plain axe. Here you go, see him with the modern axe again. His friend in front of him does indeed have a shotgun. 
He's wearing a SWAT helmet, and he's also, one thing that I noticed, he's wearing a camera. So this is either being fed back to someone on a ship or being fed back to someone in the private company that sent them or the government or whatever happened. You see your typical The Forest things. We have skulls everywhere leading into the cave, which they do the good old-fashioned The Forest shimmy right into the said cave. And here we go, shimmy shimmy, and obviously we know it's on the other side. This is how I know that that unitar dancing ballerina demon isn't actually a boss. It's a dead one right here or a sleeping one or something like that. So in a boss scenario, you're not going to see, you know, one of these in every single cave. Maybe one of the mini bosses. I know we had the, well, for lack of a better term, the vagina monsters in the previous game. And we also had the belly bumpers, the big boys. And we also had the babies that would kind of be around those bosses as well obviously we have the spider girl at the end and uh maybe we'll see a bit of the spider girl in this game or some type of other mutated thing but she was kind of a one of a kind um from trying to test the artifacts on her um we get a new redesigned mutant slash demon here looks extremely different um one thing that i actually just noticed now by watching it through one more time let's see on the right side when he shines this light is that either more sleeping mutants, or is that... They look like they're dead. They have bugs around them. See, this is either another unitar demon, or this one looks like it might be like a child of some sort. Might just be the anatomy from this angle, but it does look like they're dead. They have bugs around them. And you actually see in the bottom left here, this is another unitar uh, demon here that seems to be either sleeping or dead or something like that. Um, it probably just kind of points in the direction of male and female. And there's another dead one over here on the right, or sleeping one, or whatever. Here's the new demon. Um, extremely scary. Um, I'm assuming these are the ones in the caves. They don't need eyeballs to, you know, be in the caves. I'm assuming they're just susceptible to light. Kind of finding more of like an I Am Legend demon, maybe, with this game. Um, and that's all they give us. And like I said, there's really no information anywhere else which makes this even more difficult to like bring to you guys and talk about. But I'm assuming we're going to get it in 2020. Most of the announcements on the Game Awards last night were for 2020. So we're really fingers crossed and that we get this in 2020. Um, you guys saw the whole thing through in the beginning. There's the breakdown. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Remember, merch is actually 20% off using Royal 20 for the rest of the year. And uh, we will see you guys uh, in 2020 with a full playthrough of Sons of the Forest, hopefully. Peace out, guys.